Hi, my name is David Copley. I'm the Kitchen Garden Project Coordinator here at Grub. I'm the Kitchen Garden Project Backyard Gardens Coordinator. Since 1993, we've built over 2,600 vegetable gardens, and those are all for low-income families and individuals. We send the applications out to all different community organizations. We give applications for kids to take home to their parents. Hi, this is Haven and Nicholas. He's actually the one who brought the garden to us. And he's very excited about fresh salads this summer. Right, Nick? How it works is we figure out a time that works well for the new gardener. We email their neighbors to see if they want to come help. We ask their garden mentor to see if they want to come help. And we also reach out to our community of volunteers here at Grub. We load up the truck, we put on two yards of soil, a bunch of lumber, meet up with all the volunteers there, and then all just crank out building a garden. I think one of the most rewarding things about doing this work is seeing the community members that really thought that we were just getting a garden get a lot more um, community. For me, it's really inspiring to see gardeners who previously felt really disempowered to be able to give themselves as someone who does have power, who can support their family and grow food and support themselves. It's not so much the what we do, but how we do it, using gardens as a vehicle of empowerment and community building. It's a beautiful thing because everybody can talk about growing tomatoes and um, what's going on in their garden. It's a way to engage people from all walks of life in our community. I'm excited for all the different foods we're going to get. I can't wait to can everything we get out of here. Vegetables. <laughs> Tomatoes. I've watched children in the gardens uh, very experimentally just grabbing stuff and trying it. One kid in particular, he just grabs something out of the garden and puts it out of his mouth and starts munching it. It was like, you know, collard green or something that was probably a little bitter. He spits it out. But then a second later, he's grabbing something else and trying it again. And you know, that one turned out great. So he's just sitting there grazing out of the garden. Pumpkin. Strawberry bush, watermelon, pineapple, watermelon, pineapple, potatoes. When I started, I didn't know everything about gardening, but I knew enough to be able to help people get started. And now we have first year gardeners who have only been gardening for a year, but they know enough to be able to tell people this is a pea, this is a pepper, and this is how you take care of them.